I wanted to do a video uh, about strongman training, strongman exercises that build muscle, because I like to cross things over. And this guy right here is one of the most muscular strongmen I've met. Uh, you're like 275, 280 yeah. right now, six yeah. foot one, six foot two? Six two. Yeah. yeah, super powerful. I was really excited to pick his brain on how to use the strongman exercises to build muscle because as you know, I'm, well, maybe don't know, but I was supposed to enter a bodybuilding competition this year, but I got pushed back. It's okay. Um, I'm building a lot of strength now and uh, some size. I'm the heaviest I've been. Uh, you got some strongman exercises for me today. I wanted you to show me how to do some hard deadlifts. So. For sure, for sure. Right, so. This uh, is a strongman for hypertrophy, essentially, right? Yes, it's yes. strongman hypertrophy. I wanted yes. to ask you, the, as you can see right here, this is a car deadlift stand. Did you buy this on Amazon? Uh, no, no. I wouldn't recommend buying one from Amazon. That probably would be dangerous. So if you see something on Amazon for a car deadlift, I would strongly uh, not advise you doing that. So what I'm guessing is the closer the weight is to you, the harder it is. Yes. All right. And the further the weight is from you, the easier it is. Easier it is. Okay. I don't know, how do, you, how, how do you guys do this stuff? Like, how, how would you do this to build some muscle? Yeah, so, uh, like I said, we're talking about building muscle, it's more hypertrophy, and in the context of hypertrophy, so actually putting size on. So, typically it's gonna be some higher volume. Uh, I actually love this implement because uh, I don't have a leg press in the gym, so I use this as my leg press. So if you want to substitute for a leg press, obviously there's gonna be some upper body involved with it, but predominantly it's gonna be in the quads and the legs, hips, glutes, that area. Um, so when we go about standardizing it for anybody, I would say pick the same weight you're using consistently. So if you're using this tire, right, this is a 450 tire, just add on the weight. So this would be a 450 tire and then count the plates. Uh, typically we don't count the frame or anything like that. So we just wanna count whatever plates these are. There's a lot on there obviously. And then there's a 450 tire. So it'd be the plates plus a 450 tire and that would be his working weight for his sets today. I wanna show you guys why I wanted him to show us some of this exercise. I've done it a couple times. It does feel a, a lot like a leg press, but it doesn't have that huge uh, shearing force on the knee mm -hmm. at the bottom of the lift. It, it's a huge quad pump. There's nowhere near as much back involvement as a normal deadlift. So it does feel like you're getting that kind of quad stimulus of leg press without that, you know, that eccentric change phase here where it's like, oh, I'm at the bottom, oh, my knees, you know what I mean? There's like, your knees feel super good on this. Basically. Typical hip or shoulder with stance is fine, so you guys figure out what works best for you. Uh, like I was saying to Sam earlier when she tried it, the first pull is going to be awkward, and then from there you can kind of judge or base where you want uh, your feet to be. So, get this. Oh, yes. Okay, so for me, yourself. for me, that was that's pretty dead on to have done this a lot, but maybe you need to move your feet when you're here to figure out where it's going to be best for you to feel that leg drive. Now, as we come down, the big mistake that people make, and I made when I first started, is leaning forward like a conventional deadlift. When we do that, and we try to pull up, especially how this is working with leverage and weight, it's just gonna put everything in our upper back, we're gonna round, and it's gonna make this like twice as heavy. So instead, when we're here, I actually like to kind of move forward, but then sit my way back and drive back. And then we're really gonna feel that in my legs. And then I can come down, touch, drive right back up, and down. If you do it correctly, I mean, he's gonna feel that torching his quads. Even that glue right at the top, I was getting his butt through. Nice. Man, I wanna do like three sets of 20 of this at the end of leg day. Oh my God. I mean, and, and then I, I just like, Dig a hole in the earth and crawl inside of it and just like go to sleep and you'll we'll never see me winter. again. Yeah. yeah. So on the spectrum of, let's say, like a deadlift, this is going to be more towards like a trap bar feel, something more of a quad dominant pull versus a back pull. Okay. So it's going to be uh, more like a sumo deadlift trap bar rather than a conventional deadlift. So if you're looking to get some leg activation in, grow the quads, the glutes. Like I said, probably more higher volume. Anything like eight reps plus for some sets, really gonna feel that burn. What the fuck, dude? Okay, that got hard. How am I gonna do it? I'm gonna get one rep. Let's bring it up the ground. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Go! Yes! Yes! Oh! Yes! Yes! Oh! Oh! Okay. Oh, I did one. Oh, man. What well, up? Good. good job. Yeah. <laughs> that 
I was supposed to do like a set of 10 or 20 for building muscle, but now I see sparks. Whoa. Yeah. That's a byproduct of your quads growing is when you see sparks like that, so you know you're doing the right thing. Okay. <laughs> it means the blood is exiting your brain, yeah. going to your legs. Blood went from your quad up to your dome very fast. All right, well, maybe I'll lower the weight and do some higher reps, but. Yeah. Yeah. Yes! One, over 20. Two, one. Yes! Oh, big leg, big leg. Top, there we go. Come on. Come on! Oh! oh yeah! Oh yeah! Come on! Nice! That's fun. Just took a ride on the train, baby. That's my heart rate. It's high. Yeah. You say he felt it in his glutes? Are you feeling the quads too? Yeah. You compare it to like a leg press probably? A little more glute than leg press, but my back is not the limiting factor here. Yeah. Usually in deadlift, that's a limiting factor. Here it was just glutes and quads. You got a car, you got a gym. The next one we have is gonna be farmer handles. Now typically in strawman, what you'll see is I'm doing tons of runs with these. Anywhere from 50 to 100 feet, maybe a little bit less, uh, but it's always just a pick and a run. You've probably yeah. seen that in Strowman. Oh yeah, I've done it too. Yeah, what do yeah, you think of those? It's, they're farmer's carries, they're hard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so for hypertrophy's sake, what we want to do is just use them for more of a shrug movement. So obviously we're trying to get big traps, right? More volume, more size of the traps. It's going to transition over to carries, maybe once we start testing those carries. We just have two beast metal handles here. Okay, it's nice because they're not super low, or if you had like dumbbells, you always have to bend over and pick them up. So they start basically around your knee height. We can just pick them up, and we can do some shrugs with these for volume, just to build traps. Now, if you wanted to still do a walk, and you want to incorporate your training, you could do maybe a set of 10 to 20 shrugs, and then just a shorter walk. So you're still getting some training in uh, to be specific for the walk, but you're also developing more a hypertrophy for the traps. I think the sorest my traps have ever been has been like a max out farmer's carry for yeah. like 50 feet. Um, actually, you were there. It was the oh, summer. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we, we both did some, uh, I, did, you yeah. I think you did 600 pounds, 600, 300 yeah. in each hand, and I did like 500. How far was that, 100 feet? 50 feet, 50 one feet. direction, yeah. yeah. Let's go, Joe. Come on, Come on, Joe. Come on, Come on, Joe. Come on big Come on. Joe. Come on, Joey. Okay. But my traps were like, wah. Yeah. Like they were sore, man. So we're gonna try to substitute some uh, of dumbbell shrug type work with farmer's carries shrug type work, I guess. When it comes to the trap growth of these guys, I like to actually let the traps hang for a brief second at the bottom and then really try to get that huge shrug. So a lot of people just stay kind of at the top portion yeah. and they shrug, but if we're getting that full ROM, so like letting the trap hang for a second, I think that we build bigger and stronger traps long term and you're using the whole muscle. Well, is that and like hang. Yeah, you feel like hang. Because yeah. when you walk, they're going to be hanging like that. I can see doing some really cool games with this. Like you do like a lot more reps than it's comfortable. And then you have to finish off with like walking across the gym one time. Yeah, well, yeah. he kind of jumped to the gun. I was going to surprise him with giving him a little uh, kind of scenario where we can work on shrugs and walks at the same time. So maybe we can do that next. <laughs> surprise is we're going to start with the farmer handles here. I'm gonna have him do, let's say we're from 12 to 15 shrugs. Then he's gonna to walk to the second cone, 10 to 15 shrugs, yep. and then the last one, 10 to 15 shrugs. So we have about a 40 foot actual walk, but we're getting in that extra trap volume too. So this is like a bodybuilder strongman dream right here. I see your shoulders. Yeah. Ah. Here we go. Making a professional grocery shopper. <laughs> uh, he's trying out for Instacart. I am the buffest Instacart delivery. Nice. All right, last set, last set. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, John. All the groceries here. All the groceries. Let's go. How bad do you want that thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on. Nice. 
I feel my neck spine. <laughs> The neck, the, the, ne the neck, the neck spine. The yes, neck this is exactly what we're targeting. The neck spine, of the body. Yes. What do you say? We, we hit, it, hit it right. Yeah, I think one set's good. That counts as one set or three sets. Uh, that could be one set. That's I mean, one basically set. just all you need to do finish all the traps. Yeah. Run through that. Yeah, we got one more exercise. Damn. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, Joey. We are on our third hypertrophy exercise using strongman implementation. Yeah, so the third one, so I get this question asked all the time. It's like, if, yeah, maybe not all the time, it's kind of weird. If you were stranded on an island, you could only do one exercise for the rest of your life, immediately I always think log clean and press. And you would think, well, why not barbell clean and press? I think we're talking about muscle size and like looking better, being strong. The log is a better implement to use versus a barbell. Because with the barbell, there's a lot of technique and momentum involved. Not much like true contraction, but with a log, we get that. We get that static strength. So that's gonna be my third one. I wanna show you guys a couple of things you can do with the log, not just one, just a couple of them, uh, and how we can build some size. Yeah, build muscle with a log. Build big log muscles. Joey, did you like Ren and Stimpy as a kid? It's log, yeah, it's log. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Better Ren than and Stimpy, wow. Good. It's log, log, it's better than that, it's good. Is that still on TV these days? I don't know. No, but no, if we're you look just back old. and watch that show as an adult, that's a really weird, weird show. show. But no, I, I get the still. reference. Log. Yeah. So this is a log. It comes in all different sizes. Um, so it depends on how big you are, what kind of log you want to work with. But this is kind of like the medium great size log for all purpose. Uh, so it has a neutral grip, which I like. Uh, because mm -hmm. if we're trying to hit the back, I think a neutral grip is a great way to go with that. If you're doing any sort of rows, right? Uh, so. First off, I'm just gonna go with the simple, just a log row. So we get that full, good ROM where we come all the way down and we're just touching that log to our chest each time. And we have that neutral grip to really feel a lot. So you can do this for tons of volume if you want. The other thing that I like is when we actually clean the lock, right? We're using a ton of back, like the entire back, when we have to roll it on up to here. So if you wanted to really get a crazy back pump, throw on some weight on here and just simply roll this log up and down. And if you're doing it correctly by actually uh, rowing it into your body, your back is working the entire time. So if you want like a crazy back like Juji, that turtle shell look, this is how I started to develop uh, my back muscles, honestly. It never looked the way it did until I started implementing more logs. Joey's right. becoming a turtle. Yeah, I'm becoming a turtle. I would like to be Donatello. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Which so. one drives a car that shoots pizzas? That's Michelangelo. Yeah, that, that'd be me. I, okay. We know. I want to yeah. be the pizza shooting car. So I want you to really think about rowing it into your body as you roll it up. This is really going to hit all those back muscles is when we're actively rowing it in, keeping that constant tension. So we could do sets of like anywhere from 10 to 20 of just these rolls. As you can see, he's down here. So we're getting that thoracic you know, extension and flexion as we come down and then we're coming all the way up and rolling it up, hitting all the erectors. Build that back crack. Yeah, the back crack is exactly, yeah. My so lower back is really pumped from uh, something else we did. So I'm gonna lay on the ground, my legs up like this. And then watch Joey do some more. Okay. <laughs> we did rows. Okay, we did the row. Now obviously what you can do no matter what with this is gonna be the press. So if you want pressing volume, guys, you can just sit here and we can just press it out like crazy until we get a gnarly shoulder pump. So that's mainly the reason why I like the log so much. I'm stuck on an island. I wanna be big and jacked and look fantastic. Uh, while I'm building my signal fires and playing with Wilson. So we wanna get nice and low. So we actually have a squat in here, right? Mm -hmm. We have the roll and some triple extension, and then we have a press. And since it's a big implement, it's gonna require a lot more raw strength and muscle, which will make you look bigger and badder versus if it was like a normal barbell that spins and it rolls and you're using like, unique mechanics and gravity and these fancy terms. We well, can't use a normal barbell to, like with this, you're pulling it into your body as you roll up, I can feel that. Yeah. Whereas a barbell, you can't. You're not pulling it really in, yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's too thin, you can't actually do that to it. Uh, let's slap some weight on this. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. To build muscle, would you put it at the beginning or the end of the workout? It depends on which movement you wanted to do, but kind of like we did with the traps, you could either put this at the end and just do like a crazy kind of complex with it, like tons of rows, yeah. say like 20 some reps, then tons 
of uh, rolls oh, for shoot. like 20 to 30 reps. Yeah. And then if you wanted to, you could press it, but since it's just a back day, I would just maybe stick with the rows and the rolls. Which uh, Just give me a row so you feel a good pump in the back. No set amount of reps, I just need to feel it. You can even use your hips a little bit to kind of help give you some momentum, but then really finish that row contracting the back. Oh, oh yeah. Last one, last one. Come on. Oh. That's pretty cool. Different, right? Have you ever done that? Uh, no. No, no. I, I haven't done that in I'll say that. I've done the roll for the log a lot, but uh, I never had thought like, okay, I want to get a crazy back pump. Uh, so I let Juji come up with that idea and me just use my knowledge to put him through it. Hence why I haven't done anything yet. Yeah. Huh? That was actually a really cool. The, that the was complex? actually really cool. So though. now doing that, do you think that's something you throw at the end? Or do you want to like kind of begin with like that is its own exercise for like a set or two or something? I don't know. I think I'd have to... Uh try it and uh sam's really good about filming when i'm out of breath okay so we are doing a bonus round yeah so this is a bonus exercise a lot of you guys on the interwebs are gonna be like well juji coach show i don't have a log right and i'm not i don't have that so what are we gonna do and the well, amazon was sold out of the car deadlift yeah and all the k marks are closed and greg is no longer with us so we can't get it anymore so what we're gonna do is just pick a barbell this is light okay this is only 85 pounds right now so Go a little bit wider of a grip, probably, okay? And all we're gonna do is we're gonna round over. I'm rounding over. Yes, I'm in a rounded position. It's okay, you're not gonna die. I'm gonna start standing up, row, and then I'm gonna have a nice flat back. As I come down, I round back over, okay? Here, squeeze, all the way down. As I come up, I'm actually touching my stomach and coming all the way back down. Quick question, I gotta interrupt. What's yeah. the difference between that and a pendley row? Pendley row is this. Penley row, you're actually not gonna have a rounded back. So I'm purposely rounding my back for this exercise to build, turn around, Gigi, to build these muscles. See how it's round, okay? Mm -hmm. This is what we're, we're trying to grow right here. So when we do a penley row, you actually start off in more of an upright position, flatter back, and you're driving, touching, back down. Driving, touching, back down. A little bit more explosive, okay? okay. This is strict. And this is called what? Uh, flexion row, flexion shout out row. Mike Isertel, RP group. Got this from them. When I did my hypertrophy training, my back, I swear, got a couple inches in the midsection. He's getting excited. He's so that running. adds a lot of width. Yeah, I'm very passionate about this movement. This is, a, <laughs> this is a great exercise. This is the real video he wanted to make, guys. Yeah. Flexion row. Yeah. And everyone can get access to a barbell in a couple 25s. All right, I want to do this. I've never done this version of a row. I've done like seven variations of a row, but not this one. So there's this is a lot new. out there. Oh, there's a ton of them. I think it's better with smaller diameter plates. Yes, because you get full or a more range of motion. So if we have bigger bumpers, right? We're not gonna be able to really get that bent over position or you could just stand on something. So it's gonna have more depth to it. Um, but if you have iron plates, they work perfectly. So I wanna use 25s or 10 uh, pound iron plates when I do these. So I get that full stretch at the bottom. Okay, cool. All right. So, um, so you're there. I got some really long ass arms. Yeah, you may need to stand on a 25. <laughs> I might need to deficit this. You got a crazy ape in there. Right. Now row it in. Good. Go a little wider with your hands, Judy. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So going a little yes, wider good. than shoulder width? Really squeeze to the top. Give me a pause at the top. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So he's going to come up. Let's get a little pause. Oh, perfect. Right there. Almost like we see people do like a reverse hyper, how they like curl in, open up. Same thing. I might actually need to be, my arms are so freaking long. Yeah, but I, I think I might need to actually do this on a deficit to get the range of motion I need. What's your eight thing? What seven. Yeah. Plus million. seven. It's the highest we've measured. and oh, So ape index is like your height uh, compared to your wingspan in a simple calculation. And mine is higher than any guests we've ever worked with, so. Yeah. Okay, okay, I got it. This, you, know you have to kind of do it 
keeping in mind what it looks like to do it correctly. Because if you're thinking about too much like stretch at the bottom, come to the top, pull and pause, it doesn't feel right until you're just like, oh, I just want to look like Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I just started thinking about the way you looked when I was watching you. Yeah, yeah. And those last two reps, I was like, oh, there it is. I got yeah. it. Just look like Joey. It's just got to look like Joey. Yeah, so when you're thinking this, just think of me. Yeah, Joey. Things here. will start to happen. Here. Build a big back. Here, guys, watch Joey do it one more time because that was the most helpful thing, was just thinking about looking at him. Just rounding over. Yeah. Yeah, see that? It's, it's, that's it. I think I was segmenting the movement too much. Very good. Yeah, so one of my favorite movements kind of mimics that roll of the log. If you don't have a log, throw these in. Great accessory movement for a building. Uh, just a sick looking back. All right. Well, Joey, thank you so much for showing us Absolutely. some stuff. Guys, I'm interested in learning more things. So I still want to do videos where I'm like learning stuff and people are teaching us how to do new and cool things. So thank you so much, Joey, again. I need help. My body hurts. So I'm going to go find. Uh, someone will do body work on me, so I'll see y'all later. And that's Bye, not going to be me. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>